Here's the Bose Around Ear Wireless 2. I bought these Bose SoundLink version 2 and I did not do my homework when I bought these because I wanted noise canceling headphones and I didn't read what these were and I got the non noise canceling. The noise canceling model is the QC35, not the SoundLink version 2. I don't know why I thought this was noise canceling. Nothing said it was noise canceling. Some of the reviews I read online was not noise canceling. But anyways, I got this. I might return it now that I realize it's not noise canceling. But since I have it here right now, I'm going to compare this, the SoundLink 2, to my QC, Bose QC25, which is the previous model of the noise canceling headphones before the 35. Uh, these look the same as the SoundLink 2, so maybe that's what, I was just looking at the picture, I wasn't actually reading it. Anyways, the SoundLink 2, this is the Bluetooth version, wireless. It also comes, well it comes in this little pouch here. Nice little pouch. You have this USB cable to charge the ba the internal battery which lasts about 15 hours when you have the Bluetooth enabled. And then it comes with a cable that you can plug into your phone, iPod, computer. This is 3.5 and that's a 2.5. So the 2.5 is what goes into the headphones and then the 3.5 is your standard audio cable, stereo cable that goes into maybe not your phone if you have a new iPhone because they got rid of these audio cables but if you have an older iPod you can use it with that or a regular media mp3 media player. If the battery dies you can still use these headphones wired it just won't you, you lose the Bluetooth wireless capabilities. Okay now here's the QC25 comes with an audio cable. I am an Apple person, so this is the Apple compatible remote control here. Doesn't work with the iPhones with that doesn't have the audio cables, but I still have a cl iPod Classic, so if this works with the iPod Classic, I can uh, change the volume and switch the songs, tracks, and all that stuff. Here is the QC25. I've had these for about four years now, and I absolutely love the QC25s. I tr anytime I'm on an airplane, I always travel with the QC25s, and I bring it in this case just just like how it is. It fits very well in my backpack, and it also comes with those old school airline connections. I don't think modern airline airplanes have this connection anymore maybe some do but that's still there and you have an extra case uh, area here for the AAA battery that it takes it's not internal battery it's a regular AAA battery so you can have one inside the headphones and then one spare these battery oh here's the uh, place where you put the AAA battery. The AAA battery lasts 35 hours when you're using the noise canceling feature. When you switch it on to noise canceling, that one AAA battery, 35 hours, it'll last you your entire, if you're flying, doing a long flight. I, I fly to Europe a few times last year and uh, going to France and Germany so it's a good 16 hour flight sometimes. This lasts the entire way back and forth on one battery. And if my battery goes dead, I have that spare there because it's a convenient place to keep them. It lasts the entire um, duration of my trip. Even when I'm, I'm using it at the hotel. So I love the QC25s and uh, I just, I can't 
fly anymore without noise canceling headphones. It makes such a difference. For those of you who use noise canceling headphones, you know what I'm talking about. If you have never used a noise canceling headphone, get the Bose 25 or the 35, I guess, if you want the wireless. But the 25s, wow, it, it's a night and day difference on an airplane. The experience is so much better. And if you compare the Soundlink 2s to the QC25s, which by the way are very small for what they are. For noise canceling headphones, these are very small, very lightweight. When you're wearing them, it feels like it's nothing. There's no weight at all to these headphones. Same thing with the Soundlink 2s that I've been using just a little bit as I opened it. I can barely fill this. It's slightly bigger than the QC 25s here. The ear cups are a little bigger and, and it's a little wider here on the, on the cups. The band is a uh, I think it's a little thicker. Yeah, it's a little thicker than the QC 25s. For the most part, I cannot tell the difference when I was listening to this without the um, noise canceling feature. They sound exactly the same to me. I really only think the advantage here is the Bluetooth capabilities. Besides the Bluetooth, if you're not, if you don't want the Bluetooth, the QC 25s, they still sell that. It's still a great pair of headphones. I eventually will probably get the QC 35s because I wanted that wireless Bluetooth capabilities. But man, the QC 25s, perfect. I wish they made a version just like this that's Bluetooth that isn't as big as the 35s, but maybe maybe that's coming, maybe that's not. But for now, I got these on by accident. Um, I like them for what they are. They're not noise canceling, but I just tried the audio cable, so I tested that. It sounds the same as the QC25s. And I tried the Bluetooth with my computer. I have a Mac computer. The The syncing was, was really fast, and I could control the volume here on the headphones. Pretty good deal if you want something like that.